Cristiano Ronaldo revealed the ugly truth about the Manchester United. At the kickoff of the World Cup, Piers Morgan released only a snippet of what is sure to be the greatest interview in the world of football this year. The English journalist managed to not only get a Cristiano Ronaldo interview, but he also got the Man United striker to bear it all. And it has absolutely broken the Cristiano Ronaldo interview. From the snippets that dropped over the weekend, we have already heard Ronaldo take shots at Eric Ten Hag, Ralph Rangnick, Wayne Rooney, and a couple of execs at Man United. About Ten Hag, he said he doesn't respect the Dutch manager because the Man United coach hasn't shown respect for him either. He also went further to say that his current boss was trying to force him out of the club, but he was not alone in his efforts. Wanna know about it in detail? Well, stay tuned till the end. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about Cristiano Ronaldo revealed the ugly truth about the Manchester United. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. That being done, let's start. He was supported by a few other people high up in Manchester United. Ronaldo claims he doesn't know why they're trying to kick him out, but he just knows that they want him out, and it didn't just start now. According to him, they have been trying to get him out since last season, and he feels betrayed. Speaking of last season, remember Ole was sacked and replaced by Ralph Rangnick. CR7 had some words to say about the German gaffer too. He mentioned that it was nearly impossible to understand how a club as big as Man United sacked Ole and hired a sports director to replace him. He said the decision surprised not only him, but everyone else around the world. He said, this guy is not even a coach. CR7 also sort of takes a date at Rangnick's age. He infers that the Austria national team manager, who is currently 64, changed nothing at the club when he arrived. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner said that the gym, the kitchen, the technology, and the infrastructure all remained the same at the club. And they felt like the same things he saw in his younger years when he was 21, 22, 23. Speaking of his younger years, he spent a reasonable portion of that partnering up with Wayne Rooney in attack at Man United, but that relationship has since gone sour. Or, maybe it was never even sweet in the first place, considering what happened at the 2006 World Cup, with CR7's antics contributing to getting Rooney sent off in the quarter-final game between Portugal and England. Anyway, that relationship has probably gotten even worse, following Ronaldo's latest statements on the Englishman which we have to point out is a response to a few things Rooney has said about him since he rejoined United last year. Ronaldo says he doesn't know why Rooney criticizes him so much, but he claims it is perhaps because Rooney already retired while he is still playing at the top level. And they're both 37. He didn't mention their ages, but we just thought to add them for context. Anyway, Ronaldo decided to get a little spicy with his comments on Rooney. He added, I'm not going to say that I'm looking better than him, which is true. But in all of this, Ronaldo's love and respect for Man United and the coach who first brought him to the club, Sir Alex Ferguson, remained unwavering. He said he followed his heart returning to Man United and also heeded the words of a man whom he respects so much. He said Ferguson told him he just could not play for City and he listened. Ronaldo also says he absolutely loves the club and the fans and therefore, feels they deserve to know the truth. He said Man United should be up there with Liverpool, Man City, and even Arsenal right now, but they have not made any progress so far. Anyway, as we anticipate the full interview, we'll end this video with this quote from the great Ronaldo borrowing from the great Picasso. The Portugal national team captain said, As Picasso said, you have to destroy it to rebuild it, and if they start with me, for me, it's not a problem. Wow! That statement, and in fact, the entire Cristiano Ronaldo interview, is really huge and will be heavily consequential. Do you think this means that Cristiano Ronaldo has played his last game for Manchester United? Because we don't really see him going back to the club after the things he has said about the coach and the executives. The former Real Madrid defender played alongside the five-time Ballon d'Or winner for several years in the Spanish capital and has seen how the situation at Manchester United played out. The forward has copped plenty of criticism, particularly in recent months, but has now left Old Trafford. A host of former players had weighed in with their opinions, 
but Cointreau claims they haven't got the standing to make such comments. Ronaldo's conduct off the pitch was highlighted, as were his leadership qualities, but his former teammate hailed the 37-year-old as an individual. He told Relevo, I don't feel motivated to talk, but I had to because I don't like to hear what they say about Cristiano. There are ex-players who were nothing, they were shit, and they talk about Cristiano as if they were something in football. They don't have to talk like that. Even if he's not performing at his level, it's pretty ugly. People start talking about him, saying he gets along badly with his teammates and things get misinterpreted. It's a horrible thing, I know how he is. I lived with him for many years and he doesn't have to tell me how things are, I know. It's impossible that Cristiano doesn't get along with Bruno Fernandes or with one of his teammates because he is a fantastic person. Ronaldo is now looking for a new club after he and United parted ways. It always looked inevitable that the player would leave after his explosive interview with Piers Morgan. The player took aim at several key individuals at the club and didn't hold back with his criticism. In a brief statement, Manchester United closed the book on what turned out to be an ugly, legacy-altering reunion and second chapter with Ronaldo. The club thanks him for his immense contribution across two spells at Old Trafford, scoring 145 goals in 346 appearances, and wishes him and his family well for the future, the statement read. Everyone at Manchester United remains focused on continuing the team's progress under Eric Ten Hag and working together to deliver success on the pitch. Ronaldo has finally spoken out about his attempts to leave Manchester United, and after months of silence, he did not hold back. After starting in United's 3-1 defeat at Aston Villa last weekend, Ronaldo, 37, has not featured in United's final two games before the World Cup due to an illness. I think we can now read between the lines and suggest it may have been down to this interview. Manchester United notes the media coverage regarding an interview by Cristiano Ronaldo. The club will consider its response after the full facts have been established. Our focus remains on preparing for the second half of the season and continuing the momentum, belief and togetherness being built among the players, manager, staff and fans. Not only the coach but the other two or three guys around the club, Ronaldo said when asked if United are trying to force him out. I felt betrayed. Asked if he felt like they were trying to get rid of him, Ronaldo's response went as follows. Honestly, I should not say that. I don't know. I don't care. People should always listen to the truth. Yes, I feel betrayed and I felt that some people don't want me here at Manchester United. Not only this year but last year too. He went on to say this about Eric Ten Hag. I don't have respect for Eric Ten Hag because he doesn't show respect for me. Ronaldo said, if you don't have respect for me, I will never have any for you. Hen then went on to hammer the club, saying nothing has changed since Sir Alex Ferguson has left. He also said he loves Man United and the fans but said the club has to change many things. Since Sir Alex Ferguson left I saw no evolution in the club, the progress was zero, Ronaldo added. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. And that's all for the day guys. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.